All right, uh, case 17. This is an epidermolytic hyperkeratosis. Yeah, this is EHK, epidermolytic hyperkeratosis. If you have a single lesion that clinically they think is a seb or a wart and you take it off and it looks like this, then you could call it an epidermolytic hyperkeratotic acanthoma or an ehk oma, as I like to kind of jokingly abbreviate it as. If you see this as a solitary tiny focus, uh, we see this as tiny focus in the background of all sorts of different skin biopsies and excisions as just a, a little incidental finding, in which case I don't even mention it. Or of course, the, the rare cases of people that have germline mutations in keratins 1 or keratins 10, um, which is what creates this, uh, this pattern, then those people have it as a form of ichthyosis. So epidermolytic hyperkeratosis, the key is that you get this appearance of lysis of the epidermis, that the epidermis is falling apart. That's not really what's happening. If the epidermis is falling apart, the cells would die and you get inflammation and all of this, but they're not. Actually, the cells are clear. They have a lot of clear spaces in them and a lot of these pink globules on this particular stain. It looks a little more reddish, but what's happening is that keratins 1 and 10, because of the mutation in the gene, they're not um, arranged properly in the nice long filaments. Instead, they fold incorrectly and they blob up into these globules of keratin. And what's left behind is kind of empty cytoplasmic space that washes out during processing. And it gives this, this clear appearance plus blobs of varying size of uh, pink keratin. And sometimes also you can see purple keratohyaline granules along with this. I feel like you often have keratohyaline granules and parakeratosis over it but in this case, not quite so much, or at least you can't visualize it. So this is uh, epidermolytic hyperkeratosis, EHK. And occasionally I find that people will get these globules confused with the globules of um, Mermesia wart or molluscum. Those both have differences, and I have a video on my YouTube channel if you have trouble with those um, that talk about molluscum and Mermesia wart and how to sort that out. Okay. 